why are you calling us on fucking Christmas morning? My wife and my phone are in order. What do you, do you think that's appropriate? It's Christmas today. It's 8.30 a.m. in the morning. And today I'm gonna to be hopping on Mojo to cold call people on Christmas day. Every single year I get people asking me, Aaron, should I cold call during Christmas? And so uh, today I'm gonna to make a video on what happens if you cold call on Christmas. I say, don't do it. I used to cold call on Christmas and Thanksgiving, uh, but it's just not worth bothering people on this day. But for the sake of views today, I'm gonna to be bothering people on this day. Today I'm gonna to be circle prospecting. So the goal of today's prospecting session is purely just to gather leads and put them into my database um, of people who wanna buy or sell in the next few years. My theory is that the higher the price point, the more likely that they'll complain. So, whatever. By the way, I just want to say that getting follow-up boss and, Your call has and, been forwarded to an automatic voice and integrating it directly to Mojo, huge life hack. All right, so typically 10 dials uh, results in a contact. So that's the kind of benchmark that we'll be going off of. Hello? Hey, Lily, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property on 167th Street. How are you, Lily? Oh, uh, we are? I'm a local realtor. I was calling because me and my team just sold a home near you in Picnic Point. And I was calling to see if you had plans on buying or selling a home in the future. Oh, I don't uh, interest you. Thank you. Okay. Lily, if I brought you an offer on that property, would you take a look at it? Oh, I don't interested in some here. Okay, alright. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Nguyen, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property on 161st place. How are you? How can I help 4922? you? Yeah, I was calling because me and my team just sold a home nearby around Edmonds. And I was calling to see if you had plans on buying or selling a home in the future. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, that's alright. Bye. Yeah, Mrs. Nguyen, it, would, you take an, would you take an offer if I brought you one? Okay, so three three contacts and 13 dials, that's actually pretty good. That's actually really good. On average, it should have taken about 30 dials to make three contacts. Hey, Misuk? Yes? Hey, this is Aaron with EXP no, Realty. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Merry Christmas. I'm calling about your property on 147th Street. <laughs> Thank you, Misuk. Hey, I was calling because uh, me and my team just sold a home nearby in Picnic Point. And I was calling to see if you had plans on buying or selling a home in the future. I can spend this a little bit, so I can... Okay, so in 20, con 20 dials, I made four contacts. That's a really high pickup rate. People are, for some reason, more willing to pick up on Christmas. Wow, every five dials is a contact. So I should be getting a contact in the next three dials, statistically. Hey, Nick. Yeah. Hey, Nick. This is Aaron with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property on 148th place. How you doing, man? Good. Good. What's up? Hey, I'm calling because me and my team just sold a home nearby in Picnic Point, and I was calling to see if you had plans on buying or selling a home in the future. No. Um, please, Christmas? Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. I was, I was kind of running an experiment. Oh, okay. No, right. <laughs> go away. All right, man. <laughs> All right, so people are way more willing to pick up the phone on Christmas. They're like, who the fuck could be calling me on Christmas Day? Hey, I'm calling about your property on uh, 50 seconds. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about your property on 52nd place. Uh, me and my buyers just tried to put an offer in around that area, and we didn't get that house. Uh, I was calling to see if you would be open to an offer on yours. 50 cent, what's your 50 second? Uh, one, 15416, is that yours? Yeah. Yeah, would you be open to a, uh, an offer on that one? How much? I guess, what would make you move? The estimate says 792. What? How much would you want to, how much would you want for that home? 
1.1. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Mikhail, if you ever, if, if you, you, if you got that 1.1, what would be your plan? Where would you go? Not your business. Well, Mikhail, what I'm asking for is if I brought you that 1.1, would you, would you have a place to go? Do you need to find a place to live? Would you be able to move out in 30 days? I have. I have. It's not your business. Okay. You you have a property. You said. Thank you. All right. I I, I switched up the script. It seems like no one's really wanting to talk about actually moving. So I switched up the script to, hey, me and my buyers are looking. Hey, Brandon. Hello. Hey, Brandon, this is Aaron Hello. with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property on 52nd Place. How you doing, man? Good. Good. Hey, um, I'm calling Hello. because... I'm calling because uh, me and my buyers just tried to put in an offer in an, uh, on a house near you, and we didn't get it. I was calling to see if you would be open to an offer on your property. Maybe we can talk about it not on Christmas Day. Okay. All right. Yeah. When would be a good time to talk about it? Well, just maybe just try back later in the week. <laughs> okay. All right. Is this something you would be interested in talking about, though? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Okay. Oh, Mm, should I call him back? I'll call him back. It says here he just moved in a little over a year ago, like 15 months ago. Because the last sold date on this property was last year of August. So it's been like 15 months since he moved in there. I'll put him in. Told me to call back later. Don't know if he is going to do anything. I guess we got a lead. So 40 dials for seven contacts. That's still pretty good. Hey, Fred. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. All right, so I switched the script to uh, something a little more direct, which is would you, put an, would you accept an offer? And from there, I have to understand their motivation on why they, why they would want an offer on their property right now and uh, what would be stopping them from taking an offer today. Hello? Hey, Danita, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property on 49th Avenue. How you doing, Danita? It's Christmas morning. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry. Danita, I'm calling because me and my um, buyers tried to put in an offer on one of the homes near you, uh, but we, end, we didn't end up getting it, and uh, I was calling to see if you would take an offer on yours. And what is this company? Uh, EXP, EXP Realty. And where are you located? Well, I'm in Everett. And what's your offer? Uh, we don't know yet. We don't, we're not sure yet. It's kind of case by case, but what would you take? What would be, what, what would be the number that would be willing to get you guys out of there? Uh, I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. I will call you back tomorrow the next day sure. uh, we're getting ready for the holiday what's your name and number got it mm -hmm. all right um i'll talk to you later this week then okay i'll speak with my husband and and your aaron with exp realty in yeah. Everett. Mm -hmm. okay all right talk to you later danita Bye. speaking with husband to see if they take an offer hey zach hey. who is this Hey, Zach, this is Aaron. I'm with EXP yeah. Realty. I'm calling about your property on 69th, uh, I'm sorry, 62nd Avenue. How you doing, Zach? Why are you calling us on fucking Christmas morning? My wife and my phone are in order. What do you, do you think it's appropriate? Remotely? Uh, do not lose this number. Lose this number and never call us again. Will do, Zach. Take care. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> What's my response to that? Do I think this is appropriate? No, I don't. Uh, is this a contact? Is this a contact? We didn't have a conversation about his property. I'll put him as a... 
no contact. What's gonna be my objection handler for uh for hey it's Christmas, dude? Hey, Kylie. Hello. Hey, Kevin. This is Kevin. Hey, Kevin. This is Aaron with the XP Realty. Merry Christmas, man. I'm I'm calling about your property on 146 Place. How you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Hey, I'm calling because uh, me and my me and my buyers just tried to put in a uh, an offer nearby in Linwood, and we didn't get that property. I was calling to see if you would take an offer on yours. Uh, no. Okay. All right. Well, um, Kevin, if you ever did make a move in the future, when do you think that would be? I, I think it was there forever. We just bought this place last year or year before, or something like that. Oh dang! Okay, nice man. Um, well, it's a it's a big property. That third car garage must be nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, Kevin, thanks for your time, man. Merry Christmas. Have a have a good rest of your day. Merry Christmas. Okay, maybe if I start off with a Merry Christmas, may, <laughs> maybe people will be more likely to talk to me. Hey, Joseph. Hi, I am a Google virtual assistant recording this call for the first year. That Google assistant voice sounds like he grew up on a diet of soy and vegetables. I wonder if I could get in trouble for doing this on Christmas. I am calling the do not call lists. Maybe I should not call people on do not call lists for Christmas. Hello? I got scared. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna take out the people on the do not call list. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Do not call mobile phones. Hello. Man, with, with these older lady sounding people, I'm. I'm super hesitant. I'm super hesitant to. Uh, go through with the call because I'm, I'm concerned that they'll get upset and hey Dennis please leave your message for and report me somehow like they they could call the uh what is it the do not call a registry and be like hey this guy's calling me I don't know if this is worth the trouble I don't know if this is worth the trouble Hey James, my name is Aaron. I'm with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property on Harbor Point, Harbor Point Boulevard. How, how are you, James? Pretty good, Joe. Good. Merry Christmas. Hey, um, I'm calling because me and my me and my buyer. Okay, so if you say Merry Christmas somewhere in the beginning, they'll be less. <laughs> if you acknowledge it's Christmas, they'll be less hostile. <laughs> We're more than ten dials per contact which is the standard pickup rate. So I don't know what just happened, but we are back to the average. Hello? Hey, Guido. hey Guido, this is Aaron with EXP Realty. I'm calling about your property on uh, Minor Way. How you doing, man? It's Christmas morning, man. It's great, but I don't want to talk about my property. I know. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, man. All right. I'll, I'll uh, have a good day. Dude, I don't want to be calling people on Christmas. I, I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be doing this at all. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to call people on Christmas. All right, yeah, fuck this. I don't want to call people on Christmas. Uh, they're obviously bothered by it. And I'm sure there are people that want to sell their property. I'm sure. But I think the most the majority of people are like, if they don't say it, it's in their head, which is, why the fuck are you calling me on Christmas? So, there we have it. Those are the results. Should you call on Christmas? I wouldn't. I don't think it's worth it. You're, it's an uphill battle. Why would you call on a holiday? People are, people are trying to spend time with their families. They're probably going to be a little bit irritated. Why, why create that resistance for yourself? Just call tomorrow. You know, just don't call on a holiday. How about that? How about that? Just don't call on a holiday. It's okay. It's just one day. It's not worth it. It's not worth it.
<laughs> I was going to try to do like 20 to 50 contacts today, but it's just not worth the people getting upset with you. Because on a normal day, people don't get upset. At, people don't get upset like this. It's not worth, it's not worth calling people and, uh, and, and talking to them when they're upset. It's just not worth it. I don't want them to report me to some kind of thing. I don't want to get a fine because I, I call the do not call lists. I call the do not call lists. So I, I've, and I've never been fined. People have, uh, put out false threats to, uh, of, I'm going to report you. And I did a woman voice because they're usually women that try to report me. But because I call the do not call lists, I don't want to call on a day that people are going to be more agitated um, and have a higher chance of actually being reported. So with that being said, should you cold call on Christmas? Up to you, dude. I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to work out, eat, and then uh, and uh, uh, fuck off. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, I'll see you in the next video.